Thomas Andrews, the UN Special Rapporteur on the Situation of Human Rights in Myanmar, has urged the South Korean government to impose sanctions on the Myanmar junta. Mr Andrews, who was wrapping up his six-day trip to South Korea, met with South Korean government officials and CEOs of Korean businesses with operations in Myanmar. They discussed the role South Korea can play to resolve the human rights crisis in Myanmar. Lim yun suk has more. The South Korean government last year voiced deep concerns about the humanitarian crisis in Myanmar. In July, the country joined the international community in condemning the execution of four democracy activists by the military government. But according to the UN Special Rapporteur Thomas Andrews, South Korea can do more given its economic influence in the region. I strongly urge Korea to join the European Union, the United States, Canada and the United Kingdom to impose sanctions on the Myanmar military. Korean sanctions on Myanmar would have a tangible impact and would save untold numbers of lives. Apart from imposing sanctions, Mr. Andrews also noted the investments by South Korean companies, including POSCO International Corporation in Myanmar, have become a revenue source for the military regime through entities such as the military-controlled Myanmar Oil and Gas Enterprise. POSCO and uh, other companies and, and the Korean government have a, a very important opportunity uh, to, squeeze that, to squeeze that flow. And if there is a way to stop this revenue flow into the pockets of those who are murdering innocent people and children, shouldn't it be exercised? The human rights expert also urged the South Korean government to help Myanmar nationals in the country who fear of being forcibly sent back because of their undocumented status. South Koreans in general are sympathetic to what's happening in Myanmar. The humanitarian crisis there has often been compared to the 1980 massacre in the southwestern city of Gwangju, which was triggered by student-led democratic movements against a military dictator then. That's also why the UN Special Rapporteur made it a point to visit the cemetery where South Koreans who died during the Gwangju uprising were laid to rest. And it's estimated that during the uprising, hundreds of pro-democracy activists were killed in clashes with South Korean soldiers. Lim Yang Suk, CNA, Seoul. Well, in response to a query from CNA, POSCO International says that its gas field project in Myanmar operates in the form of an international consortium. And the company has nothing to do with the current military, including Myanmar oil and gas enterprise. The company also says that it will proceed with the project with respect to the universal values and standards required by the international community.